Hello everyone, this is White Charge G here coming at you with the sixth episode of Quest for Success, my FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Journey. And as you see on your screen there's some of the items we put up in the last episode sold on, along with um a Vitzel or we picked up a Vitzel on an open bid for 900 coins and he was converted to CDM and had the powerhouse chemistry star on him which was a real bargain for 900 coins and we listed, up, listed him up for 3.9 coins for 3.9k uh, hoping that he will sell on and really that's a nice little trading method which still works now this game plays a bit old uh, I'd say maybe two weeks old but uh, now it just you can uh, trade with converted players and it works quite well but really first before we get into talking about the gameplay I'd just like to apologize for not having uploaded in a while and that's mainly because I've been really busy and I've just had so much of this of the gameplay for these for this series I've got so much pre-recorded so and it takes time to edit it all and commentate and so on so once again I apologize but on your screen there you just saw Kalen Carr the um, man with the helmet score uh, equalized to make it 2-2 and really you guys should so so try him out especially if you're making a bronze helmet score you can I bet you could pick him up for so cheap and he's just so 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 good I really just can't stress how how good he is he's his um, I mean I guess his stats on his card tell lies or something I think he has 54 heading his that's his card stat but uh, it feels so much better and he's only six foot so I don't know why it feels that he's so good at heading and all that and he feels so rapid as well um, where 84 paces alive feels like and you saw there a very FIFA 13 like goal with a nice or not a nice but a over the top through ball to a near post finish but it was 4-4 and then we went into extra time and um, it went to all right and he made a mistake pass it back to Hall and he scored to take give us the lead and then he was on the attack a lot and then off counter we managed to pass it to Garcia took around the goalie got fouled in the box and then Joseph managed to, to convert the penalty in the 116th minute to win us the game 6-4 but we continue into the next game of the bronze tournament with our bronze team and we come up against this bronze full English bronze team with a lot of pace up front in Jordan Ibe John Taylor and Weston and here this first goal I was away from my controller for some reason I think at this point yeah the phone rang or something and um, sorry but this um, most of this gameplay is roughly two weeks old uh, I'd say and because I like I mentioned I've pre-recorded so much beforehand but right now I'm working really hard to try to edit all, all the gameplay so I can get up to date and I'm hoping I can do that as soon as possible but I've also been playing lately and I've, I've been playing on my main account mainly and um, some nice little squad builders and so on uh, should be coming out extremely soon as well which I'm pretty excited about but we equalize there in the um, off the corner and then in the extra time we're in extra time again Kaelin Carr somehow manages to get that around the goalie the goalie just dove into no man's land and looks really stupid there but and we convert and we converted that with Kaelin Carr but we foul or Willis our goalie fouls him in the box and gives him a penalty there in the 105th minute which he uh, P rolls to the bottom I was left standing in the middle and he manages to convert the penalty and then an over the top through ball to John Taylor the four star skiller with the two star weak foot and he manages to convert that with his left foot which I believe is his weak foot so I was kind of surprised as he has a um, yeah two star weak foot but Kaelin Carr was there on the rebound in the 117th minute managed to capitalize and then equalize bring it to penalties and his first penalty he tried to be cheeky and Penenka chip it down the middle did not work out for him and so we took the lead and uh, then it went on and on but uh, Kaelin Carr also tried a little cheeky finesse in towards the middle with very little power I love it when those go in and I also get very frustrated when they don't uh, when I get scored again they get scored against me so that's why I tried it but this penalty shootout went on for a while for a very 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 long time it felt like um, all my players just going through both me and my opponent scoring a lot and just over and over again and to, and especially because I had to take the penalties um, I guess second before I started after him so I always got that little animation you know to give pressure and the controls start shaking and something and sometimes that can be a 
really discomforting when taking penalties. But that didn't seem to matter there with the right mid, the Bermudan right mid Lamb with 83 pace, got that away nicely. But then of course he scored his, and then the Jamaican left back also um, manages to convert his. And then finally he manages to miss a penalty with Wiseman, the bronze centre back with I believe 84 pace, who everybody was really excited about seeing, myself included. And then Agbusamunde, who I think, yeah, he was the one who scored in the corner, manages to slot that away nicely. The goalie left standing in the middle and we win the game on penalties. And then for the last game in this episode, we come up we come up against a nice little hybrid with two informs, in, in from Marquinhos, in from Maxwell, and uh, he had Balotelli up front. And we are playing with our four triple two little hybrid side, I guess, with two halves. And Balotelli opens his body nicely there to score. And then this run, this goal here, I mean, Balotelli triggers his run there, very from more or less a halfway line. And I saw it the whole way, and I was just so so annoyed that nobody picked up on him. And then, but you can't take anything away from the finish. It was very a very nice dink over the over my goalie to make it 2-0 for him. But Drogba managed to score nicely on the turn. But yeah, and that's it. But we're trying to get we're getting to the end of this episode right now. If you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and uh, look out for the next episode and a couple squad builders soon and um, apart from that, as always, 